You know, this is going to be a big week in the NHL with the Kraken draft, with the NHL entry draft. So it wasn't uh, surprising to many that uh, other news was hitting the doorstep Monday morning. But this one, not say kind of surprised me, but it's kind of uh, something you might see more often in 2021. A major prospect in the NHL has announced he has come out of the closet uh, that he's gay. Now, NHL prospect Luke Prokop uh, is a Nashville Predators uh, draft pick. The native Alberta announced again on Monday that he was proud to publicly tell everyone that I am gay. Now, according to published reports, he's the first active player under NHL contract to come out as gay. Now, he said in a Twitter post, From a young age, I have dreamed of being an NHL player, and I believe that living my authentic life will allow me to bring my whole self to the rink and improve my chances of fulfilling my dreams, he said in a Twitter post. Now, Prokop19 has spent the last four seasons with Calgary of the Western Hockey League after growing up in Edmonton. The 6'5 defenseman was drafted in the third round by the Nashville Predators in last year's NHL entry draft and signed a pro contract with the franchise in December. Now, the Predators in a release praised his courage on Monday and said he will support him in, in the coming days, weeks, and years uh, to come as he continues to develop as a prospect. Now, uh, Nashville's American Hockey League affiliate, the Milwaukee Admirals, uh, where, where Pro Cop could end up starting his pro career, uh, mimicked it, saying uh, they would support him as well. Now, according to the Post, this is what it says on Twitter. Hi, everyone. While the past year and a half has been crazy, it has also given me the chance to find my true self. I am no longer scared to hide who I am. Today, I am proud to publicly tell everyone that I am gay. It has been quite the journey to get to this point in my life, but I could not be happier with my decision to come out. From a young age, I have dreamed of being an NHL player, and I believe that living my authentic life again will allow me to bring my whole self to the rink and improve my chances of fulfilling my dreams. I wouldn't be able to do so uh, without my amazing family, friends, and agents who have known this about me and met me with love and support every step of the way. I hope that ensuring who I am can help other people see that gay people are welcome to the hockey community as we work to make sure that hockey is truly for everyone. I may be uh, new to the community, but I am eager to learn about the strong and resilient people who came before me and paved the way so it could, could be more comfortable today. This is just the beginning of my journey, and I'm excited to see where it takes me, both in hockey and in life. Thank you. Now, Gary Bettman, the Commissioner of the NHL, uh, noted that I share his hope that these announcements can become more common in the hockey community. LGBTQ players, coaches, and staff can only perform at their absolute best if they live their lives as their full and true selves. We do not take the meaning and importance of this announcement uh, lightly. Now, Prokop's announcement was coordinated with an article on the Athletics website about the decision. Now, earlier this year, Carl Nassib of the LA Raiders, the NFL, became the first active player in that association to announce he was gay with the team's full of support. Several NHL players have revealed they were gay after playing careers were over, while Michael Sam, the former Alouette and Dallas Cowboy, did so in his draft year. Now, a professional boxer Orlando Cruz, Robbie Rogers of Major League Soccer, and Jason Collins in the NBA broke barriers between 2012 and 14 in their sports by announcing they were gay. Now, NHL and Major League Baseball have yet to see active players who will be able to open out their orientation. Uh, there's been a few that have come out since the career was over in hockey as well. Some are still closeted, but I mean, that's their decision if you don't want to uh, come out publicly. Now, from my perspective, I've seen the way uh, gay athletes have been treated in hockey on the high school or what you call scholastic level. There's been some positivity, some negativity, but it comes to a point, you got to be yourself. Uh, no homosexual has ever called me hetero, so I totally support what this young gentleman wants to do. I wish him all the best in his career, and all I can say is that Nashville needs better defensemen. So I hope uh, we forget about the fact of his sexuality and see the fact as six foot four, six foot five, this guy could be a good defensive rear guard. If you look at his uh, rough stats that are out there, ladies and gentlemen, he's your prototypical. Uh, stay-at-home defenseman. I would figure Nashville is looking at him uh, long-term uh, in relation to what he can provide. Now, uh, according to stats that are provided on Elite Prospects, 
Uh, he played with a CAC Canadians under-15 team, uh, AAA of the NBHL in 16. The Pursuit of Excellence under-15 prep in, in 17, the Pursuit of Excellence prep. 18, he was on a Northern Alberta Extreme prep. Calgary Hitman for 14 games. In 19, he was with 62 games at Hitman and on the Canada White under 17A team. Uh, with the Hitman in 2020, his draft year had 23 points in 59 games. And 21, he had uh, 6 points in 15 uh, uh, games. And again, he has played at the Brick Invitational, the WSI under 13, the John Reed Bantam uh, event. The Alberta Cup, the WHL Cup, and the under-17 uh, development uh, side. But again, like I said, a very, very solid rear guard. I wish him the best. And uh, if he ever ends up in the uh, East Coast for the Habs or the Maple Leafs, all I can say is that, you know, give me a six foot five defenseman. You can't teach uh, size. So thanks for listening, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what we're doing here with our updated uh, Sports File podcast, give us a like, comment, or subscribe. Have a good day. Bye.